Good morning everyone, hopefully you're all doing really well this morning. So today, we are going to be doing something completely different. Now we've got a bucket full of goodies right here, and we've also got an ultralight combo, and what we're actually going to be doing is targeting some yellow-eyed mullet. So the reason we're gonna be targeting these mullet today is for baits. So if you're a Jew fisherman, you're gonna be using these live mullet for baits, or you can also use them as cut baits for snapper, or gummy sharks, and etc. So we've got a bucket full of bread right here. That is gonna be a key factor catching and attracting these mullet. And then we've also got a fancy little rig here, which I'll run through a little bit more detail in just a second. But the first key and the first thing which I wanna get into is burly. So let's get that all set up and sorted. And then we'll go over our little rig right here and what baits we're gonna be using to catch these mullet. Before we get all that burly set up, what I wanna go over really quickly is locations because that is another massive factor for catching these mullet. So as you can see, this is a river and there's gonna be two main areas which I'm gonna be targeting in this river. So one of them is just over there, that's a little bridge. Now, as you guys will probably know, bridges are pretty much feeding grounds and breeding grounds for these mullet brim, estuary perch. So that is gonna be the one of the areas we're gonna target. And then the second one is just right over here, right next to me, and that is a tiny little creek. So this is a feeder creek right here, and this feeds down and out into the main river. So the main river's here, feeder creeks here. So there's all these nutrients, all this food running out down into the main river. And quite often what will happen is the nutrients will run down and then there'll be mullet feeding on the nutrients running into the main river. There'll be brim out there, there'll be estuary perch. So what my plan is, is to burly up along here, chuck burly out, and that's gonna feed back and then the mullet are gonna come up and hopefully, we'll be able to catch them. That's the theory at least. So we'll try here, first of all, the creek. That's the first location. And if we don't have any success here, we'll try over at the bridge. But first things first, let's get some water in the bucket and get that bread and bait defrosting. What we've done with our burley is we collected a little bit of water in the bucket. Then we put in some anesthete pallets. All we're gonna do is mix that together with our bread contents. So mix that all in together. So as you can see, the water is all soaking into that bread, so it's gonna be a really nice texture. So hopefully, when we throw this out, it's just gonna sink down and bring up the mullet. That looks absolutely delicious. So now what we're actually going to do while we set up our baits is get a big handful of this stuff and just get that burly trail started. So we'll throw half of it out there, half of it out a bit further. And that's gonna be the start of our burly trail. So that's gonna sink down and hopefully any fish which are in this deeper water will come up, smell the burly and hopefully eat our baits. All right, so we've got the burly sorted and now it is time to get into our little rig. So what we've done is we've just cut up a bunch of squid and some pilchards. And what we're actually going to be doing is using them on a tiny little paternoster rig. So as you guys can see here, we're gonna be using very, very small baits, little feathered hooks, and you have to use really, really small hooks when you're chasing mullet. They have tiny little mouths, so you have to use as small a hook as you can. These ones might actually be a little bit too small, but as you can see, they give you a good idea of the size of hook you have to use, and we're just tipping the hooks with a tiny little bit of bait. You don't want too much, because otherwise they won't be able to get the hook, but also you don't want too little. So you have to find that fine line, just a nice little piece of bait on the end of your hook. So that's about all sorted now. We've got our two baits. The top one's got pilchard on it, the bottom one's got squid. And all we're gonna do is just flick this out into our little burly trail, which we've been making. So our burly trail should be going out to about there. So we'll just flick that out and sink it all the way down to the bottom. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, some fish will come up in our burly trail and find our baits. Nothing yet. There we go, there we go. First cast. Oh, nice, what is it? Beautiful, a little mullet. That is exactly what we wanted. You guys just saw that, literally first cast, and we have got a perfect bait size little mullet. That is exactly, exactly what we are looking for. So I was actually burling up for about 20 to 30 minutes then while I was just sorting everything out. So I was constantly throwing burly in, and as you guys can see, it obviously works. So at this little creek mouth, these mullet are waiting here for food, and the burley has encouraged them to come over, and bang. That is exactly what we're looking for, a beautiful little mullet. So if you were ever gonna go out chasing jewfish, chasing big mullet away, this guy would be an absolutely perfect little live bait. He might be a little bit too, actually no, he's perfect. He's a little lollipop, that little fella, but it is his lucky day. We're not gonna be keeping any for baits today. We're just gonna be letting them all go, a bit of catch and release mullet fishing. But either way, that is a perfect sign. Bang. Off he goes. Beautiful little mullet. That is exactly what we want. So I'll try to show you guys again the technique I was using just then. 
but all I did was cast it out and I was actually kind of walking it along the bottom. So I let it sink down, let it sit for a bit, and then just hop it along the bottom. Oh, had another one. Oh, we got away. Definitely had some more hits then, but I'm kind of just hopping it along the bottom. They seem like they like a bit of movement. So just casting that out, sit there for a bit. Oh, there we go, another one. Another one, bang. There we go, another. That is a perfect little bait, that. That is an absolutely beautiful live bait or cut bait or whatever you wanted to use it for. But as you guys can see, these mullet are very common in these river systems. So you guys go down to your local river, doesn't really matter where it is, these things are everywhere and you can catch some of the best bait in the ocean. So if you're ever going out there trying to catch big fish, you need to put in the time and catch these beautiful little pristine baits because it'll increase your chances of catching that dream snapper, that dream dewfish by miles. So put in the time, put in the hard yards, and then you will be rewarded with big fish. But either way, there's a beautiful little yellow-eyed mullet. Let him go, chuck him in the shallows. Something which is interesting to note is that I have pilchard on the top hook and squid on the bottom hook, and so far the squid is the only one which has been eaten. So we'll chuck that back out there. Same little area, nothing too fancy. And then just slowly hop it along the bottom. So I should also state that on the bottom I have a tiny little sinker, so it's fairly light, but usually you'd actually want to go lighter. As you can see, there's a fair bit of wind today, so this little sinker is just getting it down to the bottom, making me feel the bottom a little bit easier. And so far, the fish definitely aren't minding it, but usually you'd like to go as light a sinker as you can. There we go. Oh, that's a big mullet. Whoo, look at that. That right there is a dewfish bait if I've ever seen one. I've only been fishing for three minutes and we've already caught three beautiful baits. So if you put in the time, you're definitely gonna get rewarded. That's another beautiful little mullet. See you later, buddy. If I'm being honest, I didn't think it was gonna work this well. We are just slaying the mullet at the moment. They seem to be everywhere. That little burly trail we've been creating is definitely, oh, another hit. Definitely, definitely working that little burly trail. Oh, another hit. Literally everywhere. Believe it or not, today is actually one of the least windy days we've had in about two and a half weeks. It's still blowing 10 to 15 knots, but recently the weather has just been ridiculously bad, like 20 to 30 knots pretty much every single day. I've never seen it this bad before, so it's been making things a little bit tough, and also on top of that, we've had lockdowns as well. So it's been fairly tough to get out here recently, but we've managed to get out here today, get onto some mullet, and we've actually had a fairly good session already. We've already caught a fair few, so these little tricks are definitely working. I'm not sure why, but I actually think for some reason now they're only eating the pilchard. I just put a little bit on, and first cast with the pilchard, I had another hit. So we'll try that out. They're really weird, these old mullet. Very fussy fish. See if that changes our luck. Just put pilchard on both of them. See if we get any more bites. Been, oh, there we go. <laughs> what I tell you? We got those first three extremely quickly and then it went dead quiet. Like we didn't get any for about 15 minutes and then bang, straight away, yet again. As soon as we changed over baits, absolutely perfect. The reason these guys are such good live baits is because they stay alive for so long. So there he is right there, little yellow eyed mullet, fourth one. See you buddy. Now, although today we're using pilchard and squid as bait, you can use a massive variety of baits to catch these mullet. You can use maggots, you can use blue bait, you can use bread, you can use pretty much anything. But the only things I had were those pilchards and the squids. And obviously, so far, it seems to be working. Like we've caught six or seven mullet so far, and we've also caught a little salmon. So it's a really red hot little bite. And the best thing is we've only been fishing for an hour. So the action is always pretty hot, pretty consistent. And that's why when you're going out targeting big fish, mullet are a perfect option to target for bait. They're very, very prevalent in a lot of these rivers. And plus, they are a perfect bait. A lot of fish absolutely love them. There we go. There we go. Another little one. What is this one gonna be? There, the big mullet. Look at that. So there's a fair few around, as you guys can see, we found a nice little school of fish. This one was actually on the squid. They've been kind of variating, varying between the two baits, so the squid and the uh, pilchard, but this one took the old squid. And as you can see, their mouths are absolutely tiny. That's why you need those really small hooks. Either way though, beautiful. Another little mullet, another beautiful little mullet. So let's send him off. See you, buddy. 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna wrap up the session there. Either way, we ended up with the eight mullet and also a couple of little salmon as well. So if you're going out for a live bait session, you would have had more than enough baits. And also, I showed you guys my technique and the techniques which I'm gonna be using to catch mullet going into the future for my trips. So either way, if you enjoyed this one, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.